you're looking for an alternative keyboard, Bluetooth keyboard for the Surface Pro 8 or Pro X, then you need to watch this video. There are currently two options that are viable, in my opinion, only two. So I'm going to talk about those two options. I really like one and the other one is okay for a even smaller subset of uh, Surface Pro X or Surface Pro 8 users. Okay, so I'm going to show you both keyboards. The first one is by Renacer and notice it has the pen slot, which is what makes it a viable option in my opinion. And the second one is called um, wireless keyboard for Surface Pro. So there's not a lot of branding in it. It's a little generic. And we're going to talk about the two of these. This one has a charging port on the side, and this one has a charging port right here. So you actually don't see it at all while you're using it. Now, of the two, I like the Renacer one better, which is not a surprise. I think they care not just about selling a whole bunch of aftermarket accessories for different products, but actually wanting to be the best. All right, so this one, uh, what I like, and I'm going to go through this one first, and then I'll tell you about the second one. This one is the Renacer Penguin keyboard. Uh, the system pulls it up as the K8. And what I like, the trackpad is very glassy, uh, which means it's very smooth and easy to slide your finger around on. Keys are uh, a lot more spread out than on this one. Notice that the keys are smaller here. Um, there's a couple extra buttons on this one that are not on this one and not on this one on purpose. This one does not have a power button because it intelligently turns on and off without having to press a power button. It's an auto sleep timer, stuff like that. Okay, so this one, uh, things I don't like, this trackpad is um, not very clicky. It does click, but it, it doesn't click easily, which is okay because I tap to click. That's kind of my uh, MO. Uh, the gestures like this, uh, you might accidentally trigger right click in the beginning when I started using it. I was accidentally clicking or sending a right click function when I was uh, scrolling. That has stopped happening and uh, I don't know if I just got used to it. This scrolls the same direction as a Surface keyboard like the stock one from Microsoft. Uh, these letters are not backwards here, but my uh, video is flipped, so keep that in mind. They didn't accidentally do it wrong. Just mirrored image, mirrored video. Both keyboards have backlighting, but it's hard to see in this video. Okay, so uh, it's got this really nice... Um, I, I'm not sure if this is exactly the same material, the Alicantra, Alicandra, <laughs> uh, Chupacabra the same material as the surface line, but it feels like it's very soft, kind of suede -y, felty like uh, material. And again, nice clicky keys. I don't have a problem with the keys here, and I don't have a problem actually with the key travel and clickiness on either keyboard. Both were nice to type on, just this one's a little bit more um, expansive. The other one's a little bit cramped. All right, so what is the big selling points on this? This, if you have a Renacer stylus, it'll fit here and it'll fit so that it clicks magnetically in. This will turn off the surface when it closes. There's like a magnetic point that tells the surface that the keyboard is closed uh, over the top of the screen, so turn off. That does that. I don't know on this one. It might. Um, this is not deep enough to put something like this fits, but this is raised. above the level of the keys. You can see that right here, above the level of the keys. That means that if you were to try to close it, the metal, the aluminum of this stylus, and this is a standard, uh, this is the Renacer Bluetooth uh, R520BT Bluetooth button. This one would be pushing against the screen and this is aluminum. That's not a good thing uh, that can scratch the screen. So I don't recommend using this. This one, the generic one, this fits the Slim Pen 2, and it fits it just fine. It does not charge, so keep in mind you need an extra charging case. So here, 
um, does fit the slim pen tube nicely. This does not, a slim pen tube will not fit here. Uh, if you want a Bluetooth stylus, R520BT is my top choice. If you want just a really nice stylus uh, for drawing, then I recommend the R530. This is a um, not Bluetooth stylus, which means you have the invert button and the barrel button right here and an eraser on the end. This does not click, it just erases. Superb line quality, uh, really good tilt and pressure sensitivity. And this one is the top I recommend of the 30 plus that I've reviewed. Um, and this fits very nicely in here and closes with the Surface Pro 8. If you're looking for a really good alternative match set for drawing or note taking on a Surface Pro X or Pro 8, this is my top choice. If you have the money and you don't need Bluetooth, I like being able to detach it. I mount my tablets on a stand in front of me at, at head level, so I use Bluetooth keyboards all the time if I'm using a keyboard. So this is a, a big issue for me. If you're only using the keyboard attached and you have the money for it, get the signature one from Microsoft and get the Slim Pen 2. They're great. They're, they're better, with the exception of the uh, lack of Bluetooth, they're better than anything else that you're going to find on the market. The Slim Pen 2 is... is dialed in for the Surface Pro X, the line quality difference is almost um, non-existent between the two. This is a very, very close second, but 30 to $40, sub 40, and the Slim Pen 2 is 120. And then if you're getting a charging uh, thing for it because you have aftermarket one, then it's an extra, I think, $30. All right, you guys, I have uh, links in the description for these and prices for these. Uh, so click on those and check that out. Hopefully you guys found this interesting. If you use a Surface or a Windows tablet, this is a great channel for you. So please subscribe. I'll have more content like this coming up.